right, it is time to install the stringers we've cut out, guys. And before we get started gluing them in, what I want to do first is put a preliminary coat of resin over all of them on all four sides. Before I move on, some of y'all might be wondering how much resin did it take to coat these, right? If you're doing this, you gotta budget how much resin you need, and resin's not cheap, so you gotta figure out, well, how much would it take to do this extra step of coating them first? For me, it took right around one cup per board, and there's four boards, well, eight total after I do those next four, so that ends up being eight cups or half a gallon. So if your resin's costing you around 40 or $50 a gallon, half a gallon means that this is an extra $25 step, plus the chip brushes, which I went through one chip brush per uh, board. And the chip brushes are $10 for 15 of them, so they're about 75 cents each. That means you're looking at about uh, $30, give or take, for coating your stringers in resin before you put them into the boat and fiberglass them. So just a little info for y'all. Alrighty, these bad boys have dried up. They are good to go. And we've got the other ones over here. And guess what just came in the mail? Some fumed silica. Let me tell you, this container is pretty lightweight. Feels like there's nothing in it, to be honest. But that's just how it is. So now, before we start gluing these down, I'm gonna go ahead clean this out a little bit in here, vacuum up some of the dust and crumbs and whatnot. Now that we've got the boat vacuumed out, we are going to go ahead and wipe it down with acetone as well just to give it a nice clean surface. And then we're also going to sand down that wood board on the side just to make sure we get any high spots off of it. I know a lot of you are going to cringe here, but forget the acetone step. Honestly, I really don't think it's doing anything for me here. And trust me guys, resin sticks to everything. All right, we've got our piece in position here. You can see underneath it, we've got some tiny little uh, pink foam board spacers just to get it up just a tiny bit to get that nice bead of peanut butter underneath it. So now the only thing left to do is make the peanut butter and glue it in. Once it's in, there's no turning back though. At least not easily. We've got it almost perfectly level right there. Of course I'll probably glue it in and then adjust that uh, 
sort of side to side motion too but we're ready to go it's time to get to it It's been about an hour and this stuff has hardened up let me tell you it formed a real good bond I mean I can slide I can push it side to side I thought you know it wouldn't be that rigid side to side but this thing is I mean I'm cranking on it with my hand and it is solid like that is really nice I can feel the vibrations go through the whole boat which means it's distributing the load really well. I am very pleased, very pleased indeed. Let me tell you guys, it was a pain in the butt trying to get all the peanut butter down underneath there. But we got it in there most of the way. That little yellow squeegee, this right here, helps a lot, honestly. Cause, I mean, you're trying to put it in there with the stick and it's getting up here, getting down here. Go back through it with this and I mean you just clean it up real good. And all the stuff that's on it, the side, you just scrape it down just like that. Worked out really nice. Highly recommend. You can find a box of like 50 of these on Amazon for only $10 or so. So that's a pretty darn good deal. But really happy with that now we're ready to do the next ones second piece did not go quite as well. I ended up using the milled fibers and chop strand fibers um, to make the peanut butter instead of the fumed silica because so I thought it should be about the same. I think I might have mixed too many in to where basically those milled fibers were like holding together like cotton balls and so what that meant is it started uh, clumping up and you couldn't get it into small enough uh, pieces or goo to get it under in all the nooks and crannies like you needed to. So you ended up with some pretty big clumps here. But it's drying now and we'll see how it cures. If it's not very stiff because there was too much milled fiber in there, and then I might have to come back and redo it. But we'll see. <laughs> I think for the next one, I'm just going to try using the fumed silica. Alright, I've got three out of the eight pieces done now. This one is finally drying up a little better. Back to the fumed silica on this one. I also added a few chop strand fibers to it. This seemed to do pretty good as well. I got a decent fillet going on this side to uh, curve out that edge to make it easier to fiberglass over later. You can see with my uh, sort of stick level back there from side to side it's looking pretty level so far. So while this one's drying up I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to this side and start doing the next piece. Thank you. 
Well, as you can see, we got it all done. All of the stringers are glued in. Now those last few I did up towards the front, I did do off camera because honestly, it was just more of the same of what you guys already saw. What I can tell you is after they dried, they are really solid. I didn't know if they would be very sturdy up towards the top like you'd be able to push them over, but they are really nice, really solid in there. All in all guys, honestly, I still can't believe I just did this. Like the stringers are in the boat and honestly this was the hardest part, getting it all level and that's done. What comes next? is putting the bulkheads around the edges here and through the middle parts but I really don't have to uh, measure quite as much with that because I'm just gonna get it to line up with where the stringers already are and that's a lot easier so that is how you glue in the stringer guys and that is where we're gonna end today's video guys I wanna say Thank you for watching and I just want to take a moment to thank my 96 subscribers. Oh my gosh. Like you guys are awesome and just wait once we get to 100 I'm going to be making a huge Ooh. announcement. I know 100 subscribers huge milestone so stay tuned for that and if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And, and coming up in the next video, we're going to be making the bulkheads to go to the sides of the stringers, so stay tuned for that. But that is going to do it for today. Again, I want to say thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.